Newly revealed financial records show Trump owes millions to state-owned bank in China, report. Imagine for a second that Obama owed $10 to a foreign bank, if he owes that much to China imagine how much he owes to Russia. Huge debts. Biggest, greatest debts. Some say we have the most debts, we will show them. My theory is Trump has a couple hundred million at most, and is nowhere near as wealthy as he has many folks believing, his actions scream this. If he was the world wealthiest man, he would have his tax returns on the front page every day to prove it. Instead he fights to hide them and I suspect it's because he isn't a billionaire. And this fucking stings him. This is the best TL, DR I could make, original, https colon slash slash www. Salon. Com slash 2020 slash 04 slash 24 slash newly revealed financial records show Trump owes millions to state-owned bank in China report slash, reduced by 85%. I'm a bot. President Donald Trump owes tens of millions to a state-owned Chinese bank, and the loan is due in what would be the middle of his second term should he win re-election, according to financial records obtained by Politico. While Trump is talking about the former vice president's son financial dealings, in Trump's case, it is the president himself who has a company he still owns and profits from that has financial relationships with the countries that he is supposed to be negotiating with on behalf of the American people, Robert McGuire of the watchdog group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, told Politico. Colin Call, a former aide to President Barack Obama and Joe Biden, said the newly revealed records show that Trump's attacks on Biden are hypocritical. Extended Summary, HTTP colon slash slash NP Reddit com slash r slash auditalder slash comments slash g7d85z slash newly underscore revealed underscore financial underscore records underscore show underscore Trump underscore o slash FAQ, HTTP colon slash slash NP Reddit com slash r slash auditalder slash comments slash 31b9fm slash faq underscore auditalder underscore bot slash version 2 0 2 4 8 0 7 4 8 tl drs so far feedback http colon slash slash np reddit com slash message slash compose to equals percent 23 auditalder pms and comments are monitored constructive feedback is welcome Top keywords, Trump carrot hashtag 1 Biden carrot hashtag 2 China carrot hashtag 3 President carrot hashtag 4 Bank carrot hashtag 5. Conflict of interest, unfit for presidency. These sorts of debts would render someone unable to get security clearances, as it would constitute a clear avenue for exploitation. It also would have ended Barack Obama's presidency, if people found out years in he had hidden debts to a foreign government. How in the fuck did this dipshit qualify for a TS clearance? So a foreign dictatorship has leverage over the president. The fact some people think a person that's declared bankruptcy as much as him could run a country is scary. Disclaimer, I work in finance, am predominantly liberal, live in the UK and y'all need universal health care. Now for the facts and figures. Trump owe a 30% stake in a real estate asset that is partially financed by Bank of China. This is extremely common in any large-scale financing. Either the lead bank, S, lends the money, and then syndicates the loan out to dozens of banks, or a club of banks get together at the beginning and finance it. Trump does not owe Bank of China 30% of $950 million. That would be if he borrowed directly from them. He has a partial stake in an asset that has a $950 million loan on it. That's very different. If you owned shares in Tesla, even as a tiny holder, would you say you owe money to Tesla's creditors? Edit, Trump absolutely should have put his assets in a blind trust, and frankly I'm hoping he is voted out in November. But you can't make a mountain out of every single molehill, otherwise the next real mountain doesn't get taken seriously. I'm starting to think Trump wants us dead to improve his relationships with China and Russia. Not surprising since he said earlier that the US would be owned by China if Biden wins. Project, project, 
project some more. I was unsure of how reputable this source is, so here's the Politico article they refer to, https colon slash slash www politico com slash news slash 2020 slash 04 slash 24 slash trump biden china debt 205475 i scrolled through it briefly and they seem to put together the story with references to other orgs like nyt and wsj so he owes over 200 million dollars to bank of china over 300 million dollars to deutsche bank wonder how much he owes russia or saudi arabia this genius deal maker has accumulated debts everywhere. What a loser. We've got to see his taxes. For those who won't read the article, Trump doesn't owe anything. He's invested in company that owes and he's not the owner of that company, nor does he own a controlling share. Asterisk though Trump has denied any conflicts of interest, he has also refused to divest from his company. While Trump is considered asterisk a passive investor asterisk in the New York skyscraper, he is on the hook for tens of millions after the Vornado Realty Trust, the building's primary owner, refinanced the building for $950 million in 2012. Asterisk. This is like saying if you're invested in Apple and Apple took out a loan from China, that you owe China. This is. Beyond stupid. Yo. WTF. You can't even get a secret clearance and a job offer to work for the DHS slash CIA slash FBI slash SEC serve slash DIA as a shitty low tier officer if your credit is fucked, owe money to foreign states slash investors, or had an unreported contact with a foreign official. This may be why he praised China's response to COVID and thanked them for their transparency on behalf of Americans. Trump, I'm the king of debt https colon slash slash www politico com slash story slash 2016 slash 06 slash trump king of debt 224642 politico june 22 2016 trump is not a billionaire in fact i doubt he's even a millionaire he's trumped eh, up by shady banks and even shoddier investors the U.S. president is not only incompetent and dumb, but also a foreign asset. And many Americans are eating it up. The U.S. is fucked. And I say this with zero glee, because Europe is severely dependent on the U.S. in the international arena. Does anyone read the damn article? Or just assume he got a loan from a Chinese bank? It's a goddamn real estate loan. The loan was made by the lead bank and sold off to other banks hence how Bach owns a piece, this is done to reduce risk on large loans. The president's former occupation is a landlord. Op you could have done a better job with this title. If Biden is elected China will own the United States like they own me. Considering that Trump owes pretty everyone I wouldn't be surprised if he owes me money. Why does everyone that ever speaks for Trump sound exactly like a banana republic dictatorship? LOL Trump paying debts, good one. Deleted. Imagine if it was revealed in 2012 that Barack Obama owed millions of dollars to a state-owned bank in Iran. This article was written by someone who doesn't understand finance, real estate, or real estate finance. A 30% LP can select, or veto, a lender. Bank of China makes loans to just about every top private equity real estate investor in the country. He's a bad president but this is just hogwash, focus on the things that matter. Terrible article. So one of his companies owns a minority stake in a building that was refinanced with a minority contribution from a bank in China. A loan that's going to be paid off in 18 months, who gives a shit? Did Salon run out of fear porn?